And the Brewers lead seven to nothing as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Chang Yong Lim will pitch for the second time in this series. Well, they're making his fourth appearance. He spent many years over in Korea and Japan. Cup signed to a two year deal just coming off Tommy John surgery. Very tough on right handed batters with that three quarters delivery. See the front of batting average at 400 for Chang Yong Lin. And as reported by Bill Schroeder just two days ago. Chang Yong Lim, the oldest rookie, second oldest rookie in Cubs franchise history. <laughs> At 37 years of age. Jerry Augustine is with us out on the Brewers live set and always fun to get Augie on to talk a little pitching. One of the great mechanics gurus we have in this area. People don't know Augie is that. You know, he's not just a funny guy or a broadcaster. He's, there's <laughs> not, a lot more to him. Not just a pretty face. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where was, that's a stretch right there, Rock. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun, Augie, because here's a guy that's as about as unconventional as it gets and a very successful closer in the Japanese leagues all these years and he wanted to test his wares over here in the major leagues and he's coming off Tommy John surgery Cubs signed him to a two year deal and he's just now getting on the mound and he slings it in there with a lot of sink to it. Very deliberate as he collects himself as he starts his delivery just to make sure that everything is where it should be. There's Augie. Just about every pitcher you know, from uh, Japan, you know, Korea, they do the same thing. Liner to first, and the Yankee is retired. Milwaukee Brewers baseball on Fox Sports Wisconsin brought to you by the Wisconsin Lottery reminding you to please play responsibly. And by Miller Lite it's not just a good time it's Miller time. Miller Park Milwaukee on a beautiful Wednesday night. Moon is out. Shining brightly up above Miller Park. And a seven nothing lead. Brewers trying to Shut out the Cubs here tonight. Now, Augie, as it concerns Lim, you take a look at his his delivery, his mechanics. I would imagine there's a lot more to keeping everything in position to throw strikes, and he's been a great command pitcher his entire career, throwing from this release point, which is a bit unusual. You know, he. He's really got pretty good balance when you look at it when he goes up you see him that he's got balance but you see him start driving to the to the plate there a lot of times when your body moves to the plate your arm drags and I think when you talk about a, a young pitcher a pitcher that throws out of that three quarter or down under from the side there it's really big that you stay back stay back and uh, separate your hands before you go forward and sometimes I, I, I would think that when Lim runs into some problems is that he gets that body out rush and then your arm drags and that's pretty much what every kind of pitcher is you really got to make sure that when you get to that good balance point that that ball is going back before your body goes forward so you can get your arm in good position. Oh, okay, it seems like Lim has a very long stride almost uh, too long. But uh, what are the advantages of having a long stride like that? Well it just depends everybody's a little bit different you know you talk to taller guys who get out there a little bit longer but sometimes what it does it kind of flattens you out and for young for pitchers that kind of throw three quarters or from the side it's not so bad the only thing it does it gets you so far stretched out that you have a tendency to drag your arm and you look at two things you look at balance how far you get out how far you get out on that front foot and how much you can get over that front foot with a side armor that's hard to do I would imagine you have to really concentrate to keep that front shoulder closed when you have a stride that long you really do and that's a big part of pitching you got to make sure you don't fly open because that front shoulder flies the arms going to drag well, you just get the sense looking at Lim, and even at 37 years of age he looks like a guy that is in a in great shape and extremely flexible. Lim coming back from the Tommy John surgery Cubs have him signed up for next year as well so they're just glad to get him on the mound this season and to get him some big league action 
and hoping he can be an impact pitcher in their bullpen next season. As he puts one past Luke Croy in a strikeout 93 miles an hour from down there. As a right handed batter you have to concentrate and talk about limb keeping that front shoulder closed. That's even more important with a hitter. When you're trying to face a guy like Lynn who throws with that sidearm delivery. If he keeps the baseball in the outer half or slips that slider up there on the outer half of the plate, you pull that front shoulder, you have no chance. When you have a pitcher that throws like that, you know, the tendency is, or the instinct that you have is to open up with your shoulder to follow that arm around. You can't do it. Here's Uni Bencore pinch hitting for Ramirez. And Lim slings one in. That's why Lim is going to work the outside corner just about with every pitch. Bettencourt pinch hitting, and he'll stay in the game to play third. Most likely. I suppose they could move Halton over there to get him a few reps. Lim and Nori Aoki were teammates in Japan for a few years, three years, I believe. The Yako Swallows. Last time we were in Chicago, a lot of the Brewers were asking Aoki for a scouting report on this pitcher, Lim. He gave a lot more to the Brewers than he did the media that day. Because we asked him the same thing. He said, he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he is. Oh, okay. Yeah, good, good pitcher, good guy. You know it, what might have happened is you know Nori might have given a, a nice long scanning report but Kosuke probably just said he said he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah sometimes it gets lost in translation. Yeah. Maybe. And a swing and a miss so Lim a successful seventh inning a couple of strikeouts. Going to the eighth, it's seven to nothing, Brewers.